All right, hey there, and welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about pure OCD, and this is actually gonna be a three-part series. So um, in this first video, I'm gonna talk about what pure OCD is. In the second video, I'm actually gonna talk about different mental compulsions. And in the third video, I'm gonna talk about how to apply ERP when it comes to pure OCD. So first and foremost, I just wanna introduce myself. My name is Matt Cotty. I'm a licensed clinical social worker down in uh, California, and I'm the founder of the OCD Academy. And so, uh, and, and one of the reasons I wanted to make this video series is because I've had a lot of questions about this idea of a, well, a pure OCD and how to treat it and why it's so different. And so I wanted to kind of in this first video explain pure OCD. Now, when we talk about pure OCD, the, the general thought process is, is that I just have obsessions and that I don't do compulsions. So it's, it's purely obsessional, right? And that's, that's the idea of purely obsessional OCD. And you know, in the in the OCD treatment community, it's kind of been um, debunked debunked in a lot of ways. Where most of the times, people are in almost all cases I've ever seen, people actually do mental compulsions. And so, let's quickly revisit um, this idea of the OCD cycle. And so, when we talk about the OCD cycle, there's usually four key components we're looking for. And it's this idea of the obsession, which is the thought, right? The intrusive thought, the unwanted thought, the thought that then causes part two, which is the anxiety or the doubt that the person experiences. And then part three is the compulsive behavior that the, that the individual engages in to relieve the anxiety. And so part four is obviously the relief. And then they end up in this kind of loop that just takes place. So the more they do compulsions, the more they reinforce the fear and the more anxiety they experience and it just happens on this loop. And when someone's really in OCD and really kind of stuck in that loop, it's almost like, it, it, the best way I can describe it to somebody is that it's almost like these this lens or goggles that kind of falls over their, their perception and everything they see, uh, you know, is often related to this fear, right? And so when we talk about pure OCD, there's usually kind of three subcategories that I've found when I, uh, from almost everyone I've worked with and talked to um, that I find that, that fall into these, the, these categories. The first category is harmful obsessions, right? And so these might be thoughts that um, you know, you're worried you might, you might hurt someone or hurt yourself or hurt a loved one or, you know, or violent thoughts, right? And again, um, I want to be clear that these, these thoughts, especially when it comes to the harmful religious and, uh, and sexual thoughts um, are what's called ego dystonic. And one of the reasons that we're able to identify them as ego dystonic is because they're so distressful to the individual, right? So these thoughts are, they're, they're very different from impulses and fantasies, right? Because these thoughts don't align with the individual's true character and true identity. And that's why they're so distressing in the first place. So the first category is these harmful thoughts, right? And the second category is sexual obsessions. And again, these are very different from sexual fantasies or impulses. These are thoughts that don't align with the individual. So again, they could be thoughts about, you know, if, if someone's heterosexual, they, they could be worried that they may engage in homosexual behavior, or they may have, uh, you know, just impul in, intrusive thoughts regarding ancestral thoughts or, you know, just different thoughts that, again, don't align with their identity. And then um, the finally, the last category is the religious thoughts. And this could be thoughts, um, you know, of doubting um, God's existence or, you know, having, you know, bad thoughts towards God or, um, you know, worried about being sent to hell or even existential thoughts like, hey, you know, does God exist or this and that, right? And they'll kind of get stuck in these loops. The point is, though, is, is that it's no different from the actual OCD cycle. What usually happens is that they have these initial thoughts, they experience the doubt, anxiety, and certainty, and they engage in compulsive behaviors that are usually mental. And in the next video, I'm gonna talk about different mental compulsions that people engage in, but it's really, really important to make that distinction that when it comes to pure OCD, as, as far as I've ever seen, there's almost no one that's ever just had the pure obsessional thoughts. There's almost always behaviors that they do to actually keep that cycle going and really reinforce OCD. The thing is, is that most of the behaviors are actually just mental. And again, in video two, I'm actually going to dive in to different mental compulsions and what they are. And, and in the third video, we're going to talk about how to do ERP with pure OCD. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. And then also right down below, I have a link that will take you over to a site where you can get some additional resources for OCD. So I'll see you over in part two where we're going to talk about mental compulsions.